Welcome back to the Church on a Mission videos and earlier this week we looked at the book of Mark in chapter 3 and today we're going to return back to that same passage and focus in on a, on a different element of the verse. You see from verse 13 and 14, these two verses we're looking at today, it says this, Jesus went up on the mountainside and called to him those he wanted and they came to him. He appointed twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. And then it continues to say a little bit more. But in verse 14, it says that he appointed 12 that they might be with him. So we're talking about the whole being with people in our discipleship today. And yeah. the reality is, I'll be honest, there are times when I'm like, have I really got time to have somebody else, and let alone 12, but, you know, just a couple of people with me in my life all the time? I think mm. we, we lead busy lives, right? So, yeah. so why, yeah. why is it important that Jesus had them so that they might be with him. Yeah, I think that's the whole model of Jesus' discipleship was basically just hanging out with people and doing life alongside mm. people. Um, the, yeah, I think when we can think about discipleship, we think, oh, I've got to come up with some program. They're going to come around this evening and I'm going to have to think of things to <laughs> do with them. And, oh, it's just, it's just um, it feels like a lot of work. But we, we see Jesus again and again. He just walked and traveled with his disciples, he ate with them, he hung out with them, he went to the temple with them, he just did everyday life alongside them. Mm. And it wasn't a program, it wasn't you know, a course or um, any kind of material that they went through, it was just very natural and organic. Yeah. And uh, it's such an easy way, um, actually we can kind of do everyday things but just invite someone else along us. So I'm thinking about some of the people that have discipled and mentored me and it hasn't been a particular structure um, but I have learned so much through just observing them so going shopping um, with a yeah with a with a lady and just seeing her interact with people and um, just chatting about stuff that's going on in my life and in her life and, and learning yeah. through that yeah. um, walking the dogs um, yeah, just all sorts. I remember we've recently been uh, out with a married couple and we went for dinner and I remember leaving that and in the car um, we said, I just love the way that they remembered the waiter and the waitress's name mm. and they kept referring back yeah. to it. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we, you know, that wasn't a mentoring session or anything, that was just having dinner, but, but we were learning and, and kind of growing as, as we went along and just did life with yeah. alongside other people. It's true. Like, I, I think when I've been mentored and when I've sort of helped other people kind of grow as well, I feel like, I don't know whether this is a guy thing or, or, or whether, you know, people in general, but for me, I feel like there, there is a time and a place to have a proper sort of sit down like this and have a coffee. Yeah. Um, uh, or, or no, sit down in a, in a sort of small room and talk about stuff. But then there's actually a, a much bigger length of time where it's actually so much easier to be painting a fence and chatting. Or, yeah. Or come with me on this car journey and we're going to, because I've got to go down to the coast for something. You know what I mean? And doing it together, doing things like that together, I know for me, has often opened me up a lot more because I just get to know the person. Yeah. But then also people have then opened up to me a lot more because maybe they've got to know me in a... In a Normal and it can sense. be less intense, I think, an environment if you're just sort of hanging out and helping them put the washing up. or And also, uh, uh, I've really appreciated the times that I've got to go along with kind of other people and join in with their ministry, whatever that is, if it's yeah. kind of um, social justice food bank stuff or if it's um, preaching and just kind of getting the going along and, uh, and kind of m partnering with them. So you've got the kind of every day hanging out the washing, doing the washing up, walking the dog, but then you've also got the actually being with them when they ministered. And that's what, when uh, Jesus, with his disciples, he, he let them come along in his ministry as well and observe him there. Yeah. So the combination of the two. I had a, I had a really good analogy. Um, when we learn to drive, uh, some of it is theory, but most of it is sitting behind a wheel um, and actually doing it. And we can't be discipled if most of it is, we can't be discipled on paper and just doing kind of Bible studies. We've actually got to kind of do life. Yeah. And that's why it's helpful having someone, uh, having someone kind of being with you as you are doing life. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's not just theory, it is kind of, it is practical. Yeah, that's so good.